Welcome to Viareggio in Tuscany, Italy, which boasts the highest concentration of superyacht shipyards of anywhere in the world. Today, we're here to take a look at Lady Nina, the first in the new 35 meter Exuma series of fiberglass superyachts by Maiora, which is named after the series of Ks in the Bahamas, much loved by American yachtsmen, and we'll discover the significance of that later on. But first, let's find out a little bit more about the Maiora brand, which has deep roots in Italian yachting, and today is part of Gruppa Fipa, which includes AB Yachts and CBI Navi. Maiora was a pioneer of fiberglass construction back in the 1970s, but more recently the group has restructured with this new headquarters behind me here and a brand new product range. The FIPA story began in the 1970s thanks to the Guidetti family. And Francesco Guidetti still today plays a very active role in the company, celebrating 50 years of activity in yacht building. Over the years, Gruppo FIPA has evolved through a process of acquisitions that started in 1985 with Maiora and a first the fiberglass family cruises, and then with AB Yachts in the high-tech segment, and lastly, CBI Navi, one of the pioneers of steel and aluminum construction in Viareggio. In 2019, we welcome fresh new input from a new shareholder, which has led to more research and development, new models, and including custom special projects, of which the Maiora 35 Exuma is an example. Lady Nina was a challenging project for a very demanding owner, actually a Maiora repeat client. Uh, the main area of operation of the yacht is Florida and the Bahamas, uh, which is why the model has been called Exuma, one of the most famous islands in the Bahamas. When the owner came to us, he had some very specific requests. Great performances, but not just high speed, also long range capability, shallow draft, plenty of living space and comfort on board, and minimal level of noise and no vibration. In fact, this yacht takes all these boxes and perfectly combines them with the advantages of the water jet propulsion, gained thanks to the experience and know-how of AB Yachts. Special project also means that Lady Nina's interior layout, not just the decor, was completely styled around the owner's family-oriented lifestyle on board. Gruppa Fipa has its own centro stile, or style center, which in this case was responsible for both the exterior and the interior design. Together with the owner, they chose contrasting venge and oak wood for the joinery, this wafer-thin slate for some of the surfaces, and glossy pietra grey marble in the bathrooms. Combined with the freestanding furniture by top designer names such as Max Alto and B&B, &B, the overall ambience is stylishly Italian, but also warm and welcoming. And you might have noticed that although there's a large dining table on the open aft deck, here inside, there's no formal dining table. The social center of the yacht is here on the upper deck, which puts the sky back into Sky Lounge, thanks to this cabriolet style moonroof for dining under the stars and the up-down windows on both sides for a cooling sea breeze and natural ventilation. This is the area where the whole boat is designed around and the owner specifically required to have the dining table in here and he didn't want to have a former dining table on the main deck salon. And the other reason why is because he wanted to have his own private wheelhouse and because he's an owner operator, he likes to drive the boat himself. So he wanted to have the possibility to enjoy from one side the driving 
and on the other side, the living, relaxation and friends on board. One design feature that I really like is this split staircase, which also has a practical function because on the one side it has access from the guest area and on the other it leads directly to the galley for more efficient crew service. In terms of accommodation, Lady Nina has this airy, light-filled master stage room on the main deck, forward again with these huge windows. And on the lower deck, there are another four ensuite guest cabins. Two doubles, a twin single with an extra Pullman berth. And a VIP suite, which is effectively a second master stateroom with a walk-in wardrobe inside the bathroom. The main salon covers about 50 square meters, which is a lot for such a type of vessel. Another key feature is the floor to ceiling windows that fill the salon with a lot of natural light. Something that you probably haven't noticed from the outside is that the boat is full beam on one side and this is great for, first of all for the livability on board and secondly it has got something functional because the owner has got a private berth in Miami and this is great for side docking at his own berth. And we have in this area a nice conversation uh, lounge area and on this side, on the starboard side of the boat we have a breakfast table, a games table, which is even good for having your coffee in the morning. Lady Nina is powered by triple Caterpillar C32 Assert engines of 1,925 horsepower each which are coupled to two steerable MJP water jets and the central booster for a top speed of 35 knots, which is not half bad for a boat of this size. Water jets are basically big pumps and on a fast boat like this produce much less noise and vibration than inline shafts and propellers. And in fact, Lady Nina accelerates through the water smoothly and responsively. The most interesting thing about the propulsion setup is that three engines are actually more efficient than two and offer a very wide range of cruising speeds from 28 or 30 knots right down to an economic cruising speed of 10 knots when all three engines burn around 150 litres of fuel an hour for an effective cruising range of about 1,600 nautical miles. Lady Nina is actually a joy to drive and thanks to this up-down windscreen when the owner's driving the boat he can still communicate with friends and family who are enjoying the hot tub and the sun pads on the foredeck. But there's another surprise in store because there's actually a second pilot house on the deck below me here. So here we are. We are on the main deck forward in the second wheelhouse on board. And this is dedicated for the use of the captain only. Uh, we got the direct access directly from the crew galley and crew accommodation areas. And we are right underneath the owner's wheelhouse, which is, as a matter of fact, located right above us. And as far as I'm concerned, there is nothing like that on the market out there. Another pleasant surprise on a 35 meter yacht is that Lady Nina has not one tender garage, but two. There's one garage here under the terrace staircase in the transom for the crew tender and sea bobs and scuba diving tanks. But there's another side loading garage 
which can house a guest tender of nearly seven metres for exploring those shallow caves in the Bahamas. All in all, Lady Nina is a yacht designed around an owner who loves the open-air life on board in the Bahamas in places like the Abacus Islands and, of course, this model's namesake, the Exumas, but who also enjoys driving his own boat. Now, of course, those are qualities which are just as relevant in the Mediterranean as they are in the Caribbean. But there's one last detail which perhaps we overlooked before because here in the main salon we have on one side a refrigerated wine rack for both red and white wines. But on the other side we have this smaller unit which is for keeping the owner's collection of tequila nice and cool. Hmm. Maestro do bel diamante. Anyone for a margarita? Mm -hmm.